everybody, Paul back here from Ballistic Blood Bullets. Season's greetings, Merry Christmas to all. And it's that time of year, Christmas time, and a time for a package from my good friend Chris from Norway. Yep, here we go again. Always look forward to this and I always send Chris a package back his way as well. But this one's from Chris, my friend. Really pleased to receive it, as always. Thank you so very much. I've opened it just for convenience, but just wanted to share here the goodness inside. It's going to come as a surprise to me as it is to you guys as I open it up. So just for convenience, I'm going to turn it over and uh, try you know, open it in this fashion. And straight away, they're spilling out the goodness, the loveliness, the taste of heaven trickling across your tongue that is the Norwegian chocolate delight known as Melka's Chocolade. Oh, lovely, lovely. This makes my Christmas all that more special. This bar is big and beautiful and very welcome. Chris, thank you so much. You know I love this. He always tries to tempt me with variants on this just uh, milk chocolate, plain milk chocolate edition of the classic Melka's Chocolade. Uh, but uh, I just love this one so much. The smooth chocolate taste is just lovely. So nice. Getting hold of these in the UK is so difficult and so expensive. I know they're not the cheapest bar in Norway, and thank you for that, Chris. But uh, receiving three from you is just it just makes it that much more special and really does add the taste of a terrific Christmas. Lovely stuff. And Chris, as you see here, not just one, not two, but we have got three bars of Milka's Chocolade. Ah, oh, really cannot wait to chow down once again with those and just the extra special taste ingredients to a terrific Christmas. Thank you, Chris. Ah, oh, just salivating at the thought of those. Absolutely wonderful. But now, inside, once again, Chris, he loves his movies. And uh, this, of course, is all about movies as well. So let's dive right on in and see what we have in the Christmas goodies package from Chris. Movie goodness coming right on up next, I suspect. Ah, but wait, hang on here, more chocolate. Another little tasty treat. Thank you, Chris. Kvik. Lundsvigsk. I think this is the Norwegian version of the Kit Kat. So that should be interesting to try. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Chris. Go with the chocolate bundle there. Right. It must be time for movies now. Here we go. DVD goodness. And we've got Tet Patri. Yeah, Tet Patri. Uh, with bonus material. Don't know what this one is at all, but knowing Chris, it is likely to be either a film or part of a TV series of anarchic dark humour, Norwegian style. God bless them for their politically incorrect fun that uh, we get slapped down so badly for here in the UK. But uh, the Norwegians get away with it. And uh, as politically incorrect it can be, and as naughty and risque, it's never totally... Well, it's, ne it's never offensive. And that's what humour should be. I mean, you've got adult humour, for goodness sake. You know, as long as a, it's an audience that is aware that it's for an adult audience. Don't see if there's any problem at all. So there we go. Tet Patri. That's one to look forward to. Thank you very much, Chris. Right, let's jump back in again for some more DVD movie goodness. Another one I haven't got a clue about, but uh, that's what adds to the fun of this. Starring a guy by looks at Rolf Veseland. And uh, Noz Arak Big Closer. 
I don't have a clue on that one. And Chris is probably now rolling on the floor laughing at my pronunciation or attempted pronunciation of the Norwegian language and killing it 100%. But uh, it makes him smile. That's important. <laughs> particularly this time of year, it's Christmas. Got to be light-hearted about things particularly. Surely it's all of having fun, isn't it? If any of you guys uh, know any of these films, who have seen any of these films, do let me know. Uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on these. Or, if like me, you are curious and interested to know more. Well, I'm lucky enough to have them here to be able to watch at uh, any time. So let's try and dig in deeper into the... Oh, and look, oh, we the deeper we go, the more sweets we get. Smash! Up, up, up! Ooh, that looks like a, a toffee chew treat. Nice. Nice. Very tasty, particularly if I get it in shot. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Chris. More in the candy goodness corner there. Right. In we go once again. Deep, deep into the Norwegian package of goodness. And more anarchic humour by the looks of it here. Rosalig need pets. Oh, right. Interesting. Some guy on a wooden cross there. Which is perhaps pertinent, considering it's Christmas time. There we go. Let's see. Uh, again, not knowing anything about this at all, but uh, sure to be fun without question. And uh, you've always got interesting characters. These Norwegian actors always add a quirky, sort of um, very distinct charm and style and craziness that, uh, as I said before, really has been lost to us over here since back in the 1970s. So you've got mostly from the Norwegian comedy and black uh, humoured stuff that I've seen. It really does have that style of a, a 70s UK sitcom situation that is definitely politically incorrect. Uh, and there was some good stuff back there. It's a shame that it's gone so far. But anyway, let's not get all political. This is all about fun here. But uh, there we go. Another one to look forward to. And uh, back in we go once more. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the last one from the package. So. What have we got? What have we got? Should have made the entrance here a little bit bigger, shouldn't I? There we go. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. That's an interesting cover. And we got Svidneger. It's going to be crazy just to discover what these all are. I mean, this one looks again pretty risque. Um, so, going to look at it with uh, intrigue and interest, uh, just to discover what this is about. Chris almost certainly will be kind enough to send me a, a private uh, email just to let me know a little bit about these movies and what I'm letting myself in for and what to look forward to and all the goodness. But again, never heard of this one. So we've got a complete set of four movies. Thank you very much, Chris. Not seen any of them at all, so very much excited at the prospect of diving in with new movies, and particularly Norwegian films. Uh, thank you, Chris, again. This is going to broaden my horizons, and uh, when I've had the opportunity to start viewing these, I look very much forward to having a chat, a discussion with you about them, see what your thoughts are on them, and uh, compare notes. And uh, no need to compare notes on the chocolate uh, bar goodness there. Uh, without question, Milka's Chocolade is my favourite chocolate sweet at the moment, and has been for quite a while now. So, particular thank you for introducing me to the Milka's Chocolade goodness. I look forward to the Kit Kat and chocolate chew there as well, but uh, very much looking forward to 
these movies. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, wishing you a happy Christmas. And your package, as you know from me, is on its way. Hopefully it arrives before Christmas. Be a great show if it didn't. Yours arrived here uh, Saturday today. Yours arrived on Thursday, so in very good time. I think I sent mine a day before you posted yours out, so shame on you, Royal Mail. But uh, very well done, Norwegian Post. Santa's very happy as well. He says hi. Uh, so thank you once again, Chris. Uh, and uh, have a really pleasant Christmas and uh, good time. Be safe and uh, goodwill to you and your friends and family. Take care, my friend. Have a very good 2019. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.